Hello everyone, my name is Derek, Victor Alpha 4, Alpha Foxtrot Kilo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the iOS on a Cisco 3850 switch stack from 3.x.x to 3.x.y. First thing we need to do is make sure that there's room on the flash for the new bin file on exploded packages. We're going to run software clean. This is going to go through and make sure there's any unnecessary files or packages can be removed. So as we can see here on switch one and two, there's no packages that need to be removed. So the next thing we're going to do is copy the bin file from either TFTP, FTP, SCP, or in this case, a USB flash drive plugged into the master switch in the stack. So we're gonna do a DIR USB flash zero. And here we're gonna see multiple iOS files. In this example, we're gonna upgrade from 3.6.6 .6 to 3.6.8. So we're gonna highlight the bin file name so we can paste it in. So we're gonna go copy USB flash zero, the file name and then we're gonna copy it to the active member in the stacks flash. Leave the destination file name the same. Now that the file has been successfully copied to the active members flash, we're now gonna begin the installation process by going software, install, file, flash, file name, switch. As this is a two member switch stack, we're gonna go one dash two. The command is pretty much the same. Uh, the only difference is, is that uh, you enter the amount of switches you have in the stack. So if you have four switches, you go one dash four, five, one dash five, etc. Next, I add in verbose. That way if there's any issues I can also keep uh, an eye on where it is in the installation process. We enter new, so this creates a new packages.conf file, which is used as part of the boot up process. And then we do force. I add this just in case there's any package incompatibility issues. Uh, I've seen that happen once or twice, it's an, as an erroneous message. And then we begin the install by pressing enter. And then we see here I have a typo. Probably helps if I can install, spell the word software. Now the process is going to copy the bit, the required file from the active member to the other switches in the stack. This process can take a little bit, so please be patient. Once it's completed, it will begin the exploding process of the bin files to the required packages on their respective switches. After the software install is complete, you will be prompted if you wish to reload the switch at this time. We're going to go ahead and go yes. If you're prompted during your stack upgrade, I highly recommend you save your flash config or sorry, your startup config, that way you don't lose any information as part of the uh, reboot process. After the switch reboots, there's going to be a bunch of microcode upgrades. This is going to take uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. All right, now that the microcode upgrade has completed and all stack members have 
uh, joined the switch and the standby switch has now been elected and is active. We will go ahead and do a show switch real quick. HA sync is in progress. Um, we can safely let that ignore for now. That's just uh, making sure the running and uh, startup configure the same on both switches. As we haven't really changed anything at the moment, we'll just go ahead and ignore that. We're going to go ahead and run show ver. Or if we wait another two seconds, we can verify that the switch is actually up. Fantastic. So now we go show ver. We can see here that all stack members have been successfully upgraded from 3.6.6 .6 to 3.6.8 in the install mode.